Okay, so here's the plan. In two weeks, I am going on a solo backpacking adventure across Europe. I'm flying from Perth, Western Australia, into Paris, and then spending the next nine months exploring as much of Europe and the surrounding areas as possible. There are two things that I want to get out of this experience. The first one is have adventures. I want to push myself outside my comfort zone and grow and learn and have adventures. The second is to become a better storyteller. I want to spend these nine months getting really good at capturing and telling stories and hopefully creating a community that will allow me to have crazy, brilliant, awesome adventures throughout my life. I hope this video will be the start of something that will completely change my life. And I think the best way to start something new is by reflecting. I remember at the end of primary school being asked what we wanted to be when we grew up. We had to write it down on this little chalkboard and they took a picture of us, showed it at our graduation. I wanted to write down something that wouldn't change, no matter how much I did. And so I wrote down the word explorer. I think because it has many different meanings, but I mean it in its most literal sense to explore the world, to have adventures basically, to travel to new distant places and see what it's like, experience something new. But I also mean exploring nature and myself and the things I love. I remember never knowing what I wanted to do. That's why I struggled writing a word down. But at some point in high school, I discovered a bunch of YouTubers that get paid to travel the world. And I fell in love with them and their stories. I followed some of them for five or six years it's kind of hard to know how much they've influenced me. My mum would probably say a lot. I've always wanted to travel and film and tell stories. Since I discovered that these YouTubers got paid to, it's been pretty much the only thing I wanted to do, at least for this point in my life. And now I have the chance to do this. And to be honest, I'm scared somewhat of travelling alone, somewhat of leaving behind this home, but also of this adventure not living up to my expectations. I've been wanting to do this for the last six years, it's a long time for my brain to, to create stories of how it might go. But I'm also scared of doing this, of filming it, and I may be trying to have a go at what the same people who've inspired me have been doing for years. I've been saving for a year and a half, and yet I've got less than two months to go, and hardly anything's planned. But it's overwhelming, I don't know how to plan anything. This is my first massive solo trip, and it's nine months long. Everything is new and intimidating, but I guess that's how we grow. I just need to dive into it. That's why I'm filming this right now. I'm just gonna film me trying to work out how to do this. For a long time, I wasn't even sure when I was leaving, but I've just bought my flights to Paris for March. And so I actually really need to plan something for when I get there. All right, so I've bought my flights. I've worked out the visa situation. I don't really need one, we're all good. I've kind of created a rough understanding of where I want to go and how over the next six to nine months. But this is very overwhelming because it's not like I'm not going for a month or um, two. I'm going for six to nine months and everything's up in the air. I have complete freedom and control almost and I could ch anything could change at any time. But even if I decide to go to a different city, I still want to have an idea of what I want to do in that city when I go there. When I look back, I'll be, probably be like, oh, I should have done this, but I don't have that knowledge right now. So, deep breath in, and let's get cracking. So I've been using Notion to plan, which is great because I can have like an entire page des dedicated to the trip and then lots of different pages coming off it. And I've been slowly plotting through all of this. Like I just bought a microphone for my camera. Hello. Your other one, that you had on there was just like a filter because actual microphone. Yeah, so the other one was just this. I got these little gear ties to tie up all my cables. I've just gotten around to getting my toiletries in, fact, in order. So I had most things packed for a while. The only thing I was left to do really was properly look into like the kind of toiletries I was taking, but that felt overwhelming for a long period of time. But now I've just gotten around to doing that too, which is cool. So for the last two weeks since I made the start of this video, I've kind of been using packing as a way to avoid actually planning the trip. Like to me, in my head, it just seemed easier to get everything I needed, like work out everything I needed and get it all together and pack, than to plan 
where I'm gonna go. My problem with trying to do this is that I'm going traveling for nine months and I want to have a lot of freedom. So I have the first like week and a half planned, I think like fully planned just so I can get comfortable with traveling by myself and backpacking. But then after that, I want complete freedom. I want to be able to decide then that morning which country I want to go to and not be tied to a specific city because I've already booked a hostel there or something like that. But I also find structure very comforting and I need a plan to, you know, to not be stressed. And so I'm using my maps on Google Maps and I've created this document that kind of encapsulates all my planning for every country. So you can make different layers and I've made one for each country and then I've pinpointed like all the places that I want to visit and some of the hostels that I could potentially stay at. So I've done that for Paris and I want to do it for every major city I'm planning on going to. And so a few days in advance I just you know, look at those hostels, find the cheapest room, book it, and that way I've already done the research now rather than when I'm traveling, but nothing's booked in and planned. And if I decide that I didn't want to stop it in Barcelona and I wanted to go straight to Madrid, then that's what I do. And I don't feel like I'm going to miss something that I really wanted to see or do when I'm in that country. So that's my compromise. I thought this was a pretty cool way to do it. I don't know, maybe I'll look back and realize that there is a much better way to plan. But I'm kind of using this, my maps, which is, seems to be working well so far. So we'll see how it goes. I feel like no one really talks about how difficult it is to part with your money when you've been saving it for so long. For the last year and a half, I've been saving almost everything I've earned to go on this trip. And now that I'm starting to spend it, I get heart palpitations, like the idea spending money. I have been so strict with myself about putting this money away and not touching it. Like it goes into my savings account as soon as I get paid and I'm not allowed to touch it for any reason. I'm very lucky I don't have any expenses. I live at home with my parents and like I'm such in a, such a fortunate position but that means I put everything away for this moment. For buying flights and booking hostels and getting everything I need to go traveling. But oh my god it is so hard to stay calm while, while spending this money. Oh, I don't know, like I want to film and edit and tell stories while I'm traveling and I'm thinking about getting Final Cut Pro to do that on. But the idea of taking that money out of my savings, my, my trip savings and spending it on something that is for my trip, oh, it hurts, it hurts. But that money is supposed to be saved, I'm not supposed to spend that money. But do you know what? I've done, I've already used 90 day free trial of Final Cut Pro and I loved it much better than the tr free trial of Adobe and everything else. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna bite the bullet and deal with these heart palpitations so that I can get this editing software. Okay, let's buy this so I can actually start editing this video. Have I done any more of the actual planning of like different cities I'm going to and what I want to do in each country when I get there? No. But am I going to start something different that I also need to do for my ship so I don't have to actually do that? Yes. <laughs> so, so I'm going away for almost a year and when I come back I kind of want to come back to a fresh start, you know? I don't own a lot of things but there's still a few clothes that I don't really love and I never wear them because I don't like them, I don't like how I feel in them but they just sit there. And I have a few other possessions that you know you just seem to accumulate stuff. I want to be unburdened from stuff. I'm taking a tiny, tiny backpack travelling and so I don't want this amount of stuff to return to. So, my next project to avoid actually doing different planning is decluttering and selling a bunch of my things. The rest of my clothes are either <laughs> in the wash or packed, so <laughs> that's it. <laughs> So much of my life I've been obsessed with travelling and as a result I've watched a lot of packing videos. I've watched packing videos for people who are travelling around the world for years at a time, people who are hiking for five months and carrying everything with them on their backs. I love, love, love packing videos. The main takeaway I've come, across, I've come from from watching all of these videos is that the lightest I can travel while still, you know, having a comfortable life, comf comfortable existence on the road, the more enjoyable my trip will be. So there's so many people who take mountainous hiking backpacks stuffed with things 
and they have to lug those heavy packs across the country and they have a day pack on their front. So I decided that I would try and do this as light as I can and as small as I can. So this is everything I'm taking. I've got like a 23 litre bag that's like seven kilos and a little day pack as well. But yeah, I wasn't sure if everything would fit at first, but I think everything will. And I think I might potentially be able to do it in an entirely carry on. So both these bags are bucket list <laughs> studio backpacks. See, I've been watching the Bucket List family for the last like seven years. They're one of the main YouTube channels that really got me interested in traveling the world as a living. So when they first started their Bucket List studios, I invested in their company and I bought their backpack. And then I actually got this second little backpack um, as like a gift. It's not a lot. It's really light, which I think I'll be happy about when I'm traipsing across the city carrying everything. Not a lot of space to bring anything home anyway, but that's okay. I'm going off the experiences than to get things. Not long left. So it's currently the 27th of February and I have about 16 days until I leave on this trip. I've been editing this video over the last few days and it's kind of crazy to see how much I have grown in the last two months. Looking back at footage, it's so surreal to see how stressed and overwhelmed I was at the prospect of planning this trip. I had no idea what to do. I was just kind of frozen in inaction. And over the last two months, I've slowly chipped away at all of that. And now I've got 16 days left and I'm basically ready. But because I'm now ready, the anxiety and stress is starting to come back. I'm becoming nervous and fearful for the, this trip. It's slowly, slowly starting to become more real. Definitely a step outside my comfort zone. So I'm pretty much ready, but as you can see, I have this massive stack of books here and I kind of want to get through a bunch of them before I leave and I'm going to use it as a way to kind of avoid thinking about this trip that is coming very very soon so keep an eye out for that video it will be out next week maybe the week after depending on how many books I read but if not thanks for watching and I hope you subscribe and follow my journey I'm going to be posting weekly videos maybe more often for the entirety of my six to nine month trip so if you want to follow my adventure join me on this crazy epic <laughs> journey across europe please subscribe follow my instagram as well i'm so excited to record and share my trip and just have this awesome experience